Uh, 48 at RDU, so it's about 15 degrees cooler than it was this time last year to kick off 2023. Last year, now we're in 2024. We'll make it up to the low 50s this afternoon. Clouds starting to decrease, so that is uh, good news, I will say. I want to talk about last year real quick since we are on January 1st. We officially set the hottest year on record by average temperature in 2023 at the RDU airport. The average temp 63.8. That beat the previous record by a full degree. This wasn't by a tenth, by two tenths. It wasn't even close, really, from 1990. So last year, remember how hot last summer was, obviously. And even December was above average. We had a stretch of eight days in a row in the 60s. And there's the result, the hottest year on record. We've got some 50s there in Johnston County, 51 in Clayton, 50 in Smithfield. Also some 50s in Cumberland County. So not a half bad day to kick off the year. It could be snowing, although it hasn't snowed in over 700 days. We're staying chilly for much of this week. The next rain chance Wednesday night, but it's really a light rain chance. The much better chance comes this weekend and maybe another one next week. Lots to track. Here we go, future cast. Clouds push into the Atlantic Ocean overnight tonight. So we are dry, clear, and calm tonight. Lows near 30, highs tomorrow near 50. So pretty similar to today, except no clouds. Clouds build back in, though, on Wednesday. Here comes that rain chance, mainly across the sand hills and east of I-95. The bulk of the moisture staying really offshore. We might see a few light showers overnight Wednesday night. That's about it. Most of it's all out of here by Thursday, and Thursday actually trending sunnier now with that system getting offshore. So that one moves out of here. High pressure builds in for Friday. Friday is going to be chilly after this system. Highs in the upper 40s. We do stay sunny though. Here's the next system for this weekend forming across New Orleans now pushing to the northeast. Look at that. That's snow for the mountains for western Virginia and west Virginia. Uh, this is just a cold rain for us late Saturday into Sunday morning. Then it looks like we could get another system to form next week. This could be a much more potent one that could provide snow, not for us necessarily, but areas further north along I-95. There's already a lot of, uh, we'll call it social media buzz about this system and where it can go next week and where it could dump snow. We're not expecting snow out of this, but it could dump it across parts of the Midwest, the Northeast. Look at all of that snow up into New England and places that haven't seen snow in over two years. We haven't seen it also in about two years, 702 days to be exact. So we got a lot to track starting really Thursday, Friday into the weekend, 60% chance Saturday. It looks like that system next week will be in what's called the warm sector of that system. So there's actually a chance of a few thunderstorms from that next Tuesday. Uh, we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it, but uh, lots of time to track it.